So parking crashes rarely result in injuries, but they often result in expensive repairs. Parking assistance features can help drivers avoid these kinds of crashes that are very common uh, and often leave them without a car for several days, if not weeks, and a big repair bill. There are a lot of different parking assistance features available on cars today. The most basic is sensors that detect things that are close to the car and issue warnings inside the car. In some cases, that can, can be combined with automatic braking. Some of the sensors look to the sides to detect crossing traffic behind. And uh, there are also cameras, of course, to give drivers a view behind the vehicle that he couldn't get with his own eyes or by looking in. Okay, here's how a rear auto brake works. There are sensors on the car that detect things behind me. I'm going to back up without paying attention. The sensors will detect the car behind us and automatically apply the brakes. Here we go. There you have it. I never touched the brakes. The car did all the braking by itself. Rear cross traffic alert systems typically use radars to look behind and to the sides of your vehicle when you're in reverse. If they detect a vehicle that's about to cross behind your vehicle, they'll give you an alert or sometimes apply the automatic brakes to keep you from backing into a crossing vehicle. Based on our work that shows that these parking assistance features are indeed helping people avoid being in crashes, we've set up a new consumer information rating program that helps consumers identify those cars that have the features that are going to be most effective at preventing crashes in parking situations. So the tests that we do to identify effective rear cr crash prevention systems basically involve backing up the car toward another car or fixed object and measuring how soon um, the automatic braking intervenes to prevent that crash. The more situations covered by the auto braking, the better the rating. The rear crash prevention ratings are done on a scale ranging basic, advanced, and superior. Of the six vehicles we evaluated today, the Cadillac XT5 and Subaru Outback earn superior ratings. The other four are advanced, so all six vehicles are doing a good job of helping drivers avoid being in backing crashes. So the way that we study whether or not new features prevent crashes is by working with the auto manufacturers to establish which vehicles in the fleet have the features fit to them and then comparing the crash experience of those vehicles with their counterparts that don't have those features. So in the studies where we're looking at the real world effectiveness of parking assistance features, we find that the sensors by themselves reduce backing crashes by about 28%. If we combine sensors with rear view cameras, we get a 40 2% reduction in backing crashes, and if we combine sensors and cameras and automatic braking, we get a 78% reduction in backing crashes. So of the technologies we've been talking about today, the most effective one, rear auto brake, is the most rare. It's only available on about 5% of 2018 new models, and it's a standard feature on less than 1%. So the reason we launched the rear crash prevention ratings was to encourage automakers to fit more of their vehicles with the more effective technologies. Hopefully in doing that, more consumers will choose them and there will be fewer crashes in parking situations. Parking crashes are common and often expensive to repair. We found that sensors, cameras, rear cross traffic alert, and automatic braking can help drivers avoid these complications and we think they should seek these technologies when they buy their next car.